What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we are going to be going over how to go 12 and 0 the fastest and quickest way in the game. So before we get into the video, make sure to smash the like button, drop the sub. Let's get 120 likes on this video because this video is definitely going to help as long as you do follow the steps on how to go 12 and 0. Um, yeah, we're gonna have we have a lot of steps, we have a lot of tips for you guys in this video. Um. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. We're going to get into some basic tips with the lineup. And if you guys need MT, make sure to hit me up on Twitter. I am selling MT on Xbox and PS4. And once we do it 11.5K, we are going to do a 100,000 MT giveaway on Twitter. So make sure to follow the Twitter, follow the Instagram. We're going to get into this lineup. So let's get into it, man. Let's go. So I've heard a lot of things. I've been running my Galaxy Oval lineup. Yeah, there's other lineups you could run. And here's one of the lineups I like to run. This is it, man. Um, I like running these cards. Why? First off, they could all shoot threes. Lou King is one of the best cards when it comes to 12 and 0. I promise you, man. Lou King is goaded. Make sure to you on him. And I use Boban Marjanovic Silver. Why do I use this team? Because first off, you're gonna verse the similar teams. Yeah, you might run up against George Murasin. It's gonna be tough. So what I like to do now, shout out to Oko Drown YouTube. You should probably go drop this up to him. He's close to a thousand. Um, he likes running spotlight Giannis down there and all bronze. What is it? 66 68 So I'm gonna run all bronze 68 and run Giannis. This is my squad now What should you do now? Um, it's completely up to you. I like running the Miami Heat 13 playbook Why because in my opinion it is the best playbook in the game This is going to get you the best plays the best freelances pretty much the best everything now why is this lineup so deadly? You're going to verse kids that are probably not good at the game. You have a chance of versing bots. And with Giannis down there, kids don't see him until you actually start the game. So when you start the game, then you sub in Giannis. Nobody will know. Okay, so now let's take out Giannis. Let's see what the overall decrease is. But, okay, so it does decrease a lot. But here's the thing. Pink Dami Giannis is so hard to cover in this game. You could run any Pink Dami Giannis. For some reason... The spotlight Giannis does work the best. I don't know the math behind it, but I've seen Oko Drago 12 0 a lot of times using the spotlight Giannis. So the spotlight Giannis is definitely going to be one of the, the best cards to go 12 0 with. I 110% recommend it. This is the squad, but uh, yeah, that is definitely one of the squads I would use. And yeah, make sure to make get that Miami Heat 13 playbook. It's the best playbook in the game. Bio 2K, man. I'm taking this off you, man. Bio 2K literally is so good at this game. And. Miami Heat 13 playbook is definitely one of the best, but yeah, this is the lineup I run for 12 and 0. But if you guys want to cheese, this is the cheesiest way to do it. This lineup right here. So now we're gonna hop into some gameplay. I'm gonna show you some of the plays I run, some of the freelances I run, and uh, I'm gonna show you how deadly it is. We're gonna do it against a computer just to show you what to do and how to run it the best. But yeah, Jerry Lucas is a very good player. So if you want Jerry Lucas, man, his 50 Hall of Fame bad is my AD that I got every car in the game with has 53. So. It's very hard. Let's get into some gameplay. I'm going to show you what the best is. So Miami 13 playbook in this cheesy lineup right here. I like running any bronzes, whatever. But yeah, let's get into some gameplay, man. I'm going to show you what's the deal and let's get it. Let's go, man. Alrighty. So this is the team I get matched up with. Now, as you can see, yeah, they're definitely a little bit better. But to be completely honest with you, these emeralds, bro, are not going to be able to compare to Giannis whatsoever, man. These emeralds have no shot against Giannis. If you don't want to run Giannis, be my guest, run Boba Maranovic. Because honestly, you could get matched up with some pretty good rubies like Thon Maker and stuff. So if you want, I would recommend running Boban instead of Giannis. Because Boban is tall. Yes, you might get matched up with George Marcin, but it's okay. Um, we're going to go over to plays. And what you should do on defense, because defensively, I'm very good. I'm, I'm going to say sometimes, yes, my offense is very bad. But defensively... I am a very good defensive player, so I'm going to just show you what I do on defense quick. So, you want to press start, you want to go to game plan, go to defensive settings. I like putting my on-ball pressure on smother or tight, and then tight or deny ball. Whatever you want to do, I like tight, actually. I go smother, tight. That's probably one of the best defensive settings. That's all you need to do for defensive settings. It's probably one of the best defensive settings in the game, okay? 
This is how you want to do for defense. So how do you do it? Game plan, defensive settings, that's it. Now, offensive settings, okay? Freelance, in my opinion, the best freelance in this game is going to be 21 delay by far. The best freelance in the game. And then you want to go to play selection. I got some really good plays for you. Quick four horns flare, one of the best plays in the game, man. I'm telling you, especially if you're running Liu King at power forward, he could splash any shot. So definitely quick horns flare. There's a couple others. It's a uh, plunge five flare rip. This one's very deadly as well. Plunge five flare rip is very good. And I think it's the next one is ISO 12. It's ISO 12 or something like that. Where is it, man? ISO 12 rip. Here it is, man. So these are the plays I run. Passing screen away is also very good. But yo, we're going to look at some deep pass cheese. We're going to show you all the cheese in this video. So hopefully we do want the jump ball. So now what you want to do to put this freelance on. Let's see if we can win the jump ball, which we did. So freelance, you got to put right on the D-pad. Then you go to freelance settings, LB, and then you run 21 delay. So now what does this do? You hold LB for a screen. And there we go. We got an eight second violation. But you want to hold LB for a screen. And then literally for some reason on 21 delay, you pretty much have a driving lane in which somebody is going to switch, which is something very good, man. Somebody's most likely, I'm just going to let this guy score right here um, so we could show you. So 21 delay, man. You could run this all game. For some reason, it works best with picks. And then you could just run around the whole time. So here we go, 21 delay. We're running past them. We're getting into the lane. It didn't go as well because, yes, it is a bronze player. But if you have Giannis or if you have Bolan Marjanovic, it's going to be so deadly. I promise you, man. 21 delay on the pick and roll or the picks. Everything opens up. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't even know what 21 delay stands for. But it's one of the cheesiest offensive plays in the game, and I've been running it all day. And now on defense, what you want to do is literally off-ball. You want to watch every single passing lane, especially if you're running opals. Every passing lane, I promise you. Call me a loser for off-balling, but it's probably the best way. Now, for plays, quick horns flare. This is what it is, man. This is the play. You want to go to the top of the key. Run to this side, man. My boy Lou King's going to be wide open for Trey. Look at that. It's money, man. Now, I did miss... But you can see that play is very deadly. It's an amazing play, man. I promise you. Definitely try out that play. So that's Quick Horns Flare. Now we're going to show you Punch 5 Flare Rip. I haven't ran this play in a while, so I might be rusty. Here we go. We're at the top of the key. Pass to A. We're going to go over here. Oh, look at that. My man's open. Set the pick real quick with 21 delay. Who's going to be open? He's going to be open there. It was bad, but we still greened it. I'm telling you, man. Punch 5. But Quick Horns Flare, there's also a lot more to do in Quick Horns Flare. I don't know why we're running our Bonds lineup because it's going to be hard to show you guys. But there's a lot going on on Quick Horns Flare. We're going to show it to you one more time. And then ISO 12 is also one of the cheesiest plays in the game as well. So let's see. There's a miss. Okay, he missed it. All right, whatever. We're going to show you uh, the last play of this video. And then we're going to go over to Quick Horns Flare one more time. So ISO 12 rip. This play is really cheese. I don't even know what is going on. But here it is. He's wide open. He could run to the lane. Obviously, he's a bronze, so he's probably not going to make it. But you guys get the idea. If it was an opal, anyone, like, literally so easy. Here we go, 21 delay. He's going to go over the side. He's going to dunk. It's easy money, man. 21 delay for some reason opens up the floor the best. And now we're going to go over Quick Horns Flare another time because there's a lot to be doing, man. The Miami Heat 13 playbook is very good. We're going to let him shoot because I just want to show you guys the plays and stuff. Here we go. Shoot that. Bricks. There we go. We got the boards. Oh, no, he didn't. All right, there we go. So now we're going to break down Quick Horns Flare one more time before we do in this video. Here it is, man. Top of the key. Here we go. Run this side. My boy Luke King's wide open now. You know who else is open? My boy right here. I didn't get it off because my RB is still broken, but 21 delay. Run to this side. Oh, look who's open. My center rolling foul. I'm telling you, 21 delay is going to be your best bet. Quick Horns Flare, also going to be your best bet. There's a lot going on in this gameplay, I promise you. Now, since you do have bronzes, I love using Lu King. I'm telling you, if you don't have Lu King on your bronze lineup, run Lu King, man. He is so OP. I don't know why his jumper is so green, but it is. But yeah, Quick Horns Flare, not only can you pass it to Power Forward, but they also have a chance of giving you a lane down low and getting an easy layup. So we're going to show one more time real quick for you guys. Here it is, Quick Horns Flare, top of the key. Here it is, run to this side. Now look, we got a lane. We got a lane. My boy's open up there. He was open, but yo, we had the lane. Lou King for Trey, he's money. He missed. But yeah, that's really it for the video. I just wanted to show you some deadly plays, man. I'm telling you, those plays work online. And especially if you're versing good user defenses, you could easily expose them with this play. Um, but yeah, that's all we got for the video. 
I hope you guys did enjoy. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one, guys. Stay tuned for more content. Peace.